An alternate reality game, ARG, is an interactive network narrative that uses a real world as a platform and employs transmedia storytelling to deliver a story that may be altered by a player's ideas or actions. This year, Game Theory released a video trying to solve an ARG made by Twitch streamer and content creator Wilbur Sutt back in 2018. In Wilbur's reaction stream, he told chat that he was going to learn from his mistakes and create a new one and the fans believed that this stream in particular was the beginning of the ARG. So people got to work, discussing theories and finding clues that could help them solve the upcoming ARG. But little did they know, this ARG never existed. This is how Wilbur Sutt tricked 12,000 people by complete accident. It all began in a Halloween stream on Tubbo's Twitch. Our main setting is this room, where we see a table of six and a large window. Everything was completely normal for the first hour. Time passed and chat was loving it, but after the first hour, things started to change. At one hour and 17 seconds, Tommy checks his phone after what we believe to be a notification. It's unclear what he's doing on his phone, but he seems to be typing, and after 50 seconds he puts away the phone and buries his head in his hands, shaking his head. 30 seconds pass and he puts his hood up and lays his head on the table. He stays still for a while, oblivious to everything around him, until Rambu pats him on the back, causing him to sit up. A little odd, but nothing to be too concerned about. Everything seems normal for the next few minutes aside from Tommy mentioning feeling ill and cold, and at 109.50, we get a message in the chat from a familiar face. Why is everyone's hair wet? Amesy sees Wilbur's message, then proceeds to tell him that they've been apple bobbing. Tubbo overhears this and says, oh hi Wilbur, to which Tommy asks if Wilbur can call him, and then proceeds to get his phone out. Tubbo suggests getting Wilbur to talk to everyone, but Tommy instead just wants to talk to him in private. Tommy then receives a text message from Wilbur. Why the fuck is she said, man? Stop going on your phone, you're in an important stream. Why is everyone's hair wet? What's going on? Why is it lit like one of you's going to die? <laughs> a bit of an odd thing to say, but it's probably explainable given that it's a Halloween stream. Then at 1.10.33, the phone call begins. The following transcription was made by at Shellpop on Twitter. A little over a minute into the call, yeah, Will, they kept, and they kept making me do weird shit, bro. You should, um, you should. I'll beat everyone else as well and do a piece of the Sorry, the more. Yeah, you should agree, take down first, good take one, and then go one by one. Probably. Probably. Just take yeah. it down. She's proper nimble. But that means it'll be difficult to find. Oh, shit. Okay. Probably Bill. Bro, I would absolutely spin your jaw, you muppet. Don't give me that. Alright. Yeah. No, it's not! What? Stop this fucking- stop this fucking- Okay, how's it going? Yeah, I could beat the shit out of a William. Yeah. My name's not William! Williams are all Your name- his name's Will. Name's Will! That's half of the fucking- Okay, I should make this. Dude, do I- I don't have to stick my hand in this, don't I? Yeah. Okay, so yeah. What, what, what do I do? Because the knives are out right now. Sorry, can we get this? That is- What is this shit? Why did he- It's not going to penetrate anything. How is this if, gonna... I, if I want to do okay. some slicing and dicing, I'm not going to be able to- Yeah. This phone call holds a very odd conversation. Wilbur seems off during it. He's speaking in a very deep voice and doesn't seem to be sarcastic about what he's talking about. He's not laughing like he'd do normally. Instead, he seems very straightforward and serious. Wilbur's first odd comment is in reference to murder, when he says, who do you reckon you'd take down first? To which Tommy lists who out of the group he would kill if he had to. When mentioning Bill, Wilbur says, is Bill's full name William. It has been mentioned that Wilbur hates the name William. On stream once, Will said he hates the name as people often assume his full name is William, when in reality it's just Will. However, there is some discussion of this being false, and there's a chance that he never said this. But the conversation on the phone would make sense in this case as Wilbur seems somewhat angry when asking the question. Especially since afterwards, Bill gets really defensive. Either angry because people often assume his name is William, or because he knows Wilbur hates the name. Tommy also says to Wilbur, 
Okay, what do I do? Because the knives are out right now. It seems that Wilbur is giving instructions to Tommy in relation to murder and the knives. It seems that Wilbur wants Tommy to do something, and he's trying to get him to do what he wants and control him like a puppet, which continues throughout the rest of the conversation. Wait, oh wait, sorry, wait, one sec. Yeah, sorry, what am I going to do behind Tavo? Okay, cool, cool, cool. I don't want to play anymore! <laughs> I don't okay, want to play right, anymore! Okay, right, this is game plan for you, right? I'm going to go, I'm going to quite sneakily, I like this. Alright, this is good. I'm just okay, cool. Can you get your feet close? We've got to win this contest, Tavo. Yeah. I'm going to. We've got to win this contest, Tavo. Alright, please, You've got to win. Happy Easter! Happy Easter! Thank you, bro. Well, this, this position is, it ain't gonna last for too long. Okay, we'll just collapse now. Okay. Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, fuck! Oh, he's gone! Oh, that's right on my own accord. You have, you have, you have. Oh, God. Oh, God. I really hope that's not broken. <laughs> Every single plug? No, okay, every single plug. Okay, every single one. No, no. Okay, all the plugs. Yeah, sabotage! Wait! Yeah! What? No, no, no! Tommy's behavior had shifted, and Wilbur was giving him some very strange commands, telling him to get behind Tubbo, tell him it's Easter, and then collapse onto the floor. To me, this seems like a tactic Wilbur is using to get Tommy to do whatever he wants, and like I mentioned before, control him like a puppet. Everyone at the table seems to be unhappy with Tommy being there. They're whispering to each other, saying things like, who invited him, I just don't like the guy, and why is he here? Something which is out of the ordinary. Obviously, if you were streaming, you'd make jokes and poke fun at others for comedy, but they all seem to be showing a genuine dislike for Tommy. It didn't seem sarcastic. Clearly something strange was happening. Wilbur then tries to get Tommy to turn off the stream, to which the screen turns dark and no audio or video is being broadcast. Clearly whatever it is that Wilbur wants Tommy to do, it's not something that he wants to be shown to others or documented. The screen only turns off for 11 seconds before turning back on. Then Wilbur talks directly to chat through Tommy's phone. Okay, alright, I'm putting you on, I'm putting you on. Hey there, Tubbo's chat. It's me, Wilbur Soot. I'm here to wish you all a spooky Halloween. Ooh. And a happy autumnal vibe for you all. I hope you're all having a marvelous evening. I'm not. Wilbur is acting very strange here, and the deep voice he is delivering his lines in suggests that something is wrong. An idea that is supported by Wilbur himself, saying that he's not having a marvellous day. Also, as this was live, it sparked interest in the chat, as the viewers began asking Wilbur if he was okay. Clearly, he wasn't. This is when things get interesting. I'm going to play the next few minutes in full, so you can really grasp what's going on. I'll speed up a few parts though, just so it doesn't drag on. Trying to break the fourth wall, Will, but I won't let him. Okay. The this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna, you see that window? Can you get outside that window? Yes. No, 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 can. no, no, no. I reckon can. he can. Oh, wait, no, he can actually. Go down, sir. Close the curtain. Yeah. Close the monsters. Oh, it's a... Let me just close the curtain. Yeah, yeah, just to block him out. There we go. All right. There okay. we go. What's the next strategy? Okay, so I've, I've kind of got. This. Just sit, sit. I don't know why you did that, chat. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, fuck you. I'm leaving. I need to help carve Tubbo. What? <laughs> what? Okay, okay, okay. Does anyone have the coke? I need to. I need to pass the coke. You have to outside. I need a bottle. Your bottle's outside. I need a pallet cleanse. Could you see that? Is this locked? Yeah, lock it. Close that window. Oh, that might be right. It's like you know how to kill a clown, isn't it? It's proper. Okay. Spooky. Okay, let him in. Let him. Let, this is like literally sabotaging me. Okay. Go on. I'm on 
unlock it. No, unlock it. Okay, okay. okay. What the fuck oh, is he oh. doing? Andy, have you found him? No, but if I'm wrong, you can let him in. Yeah. He was, he was outside. Just there like he is! This. Oh, there he is! Come on, get him. What the hell have you done? Why is he covered in fucking mud? What did you do? What, the, what did you do? Camera, camera one, please. Uh, oh, you uh, don't look uh, a part part. A lot happens in these 8 minutes. First Wilbur asks Tommy if he can get on the other side of the window, and when he does, Turbo closes the curtains on him, and when he reopens them, Tommy can be seen looking into the darkness as if he has noticed something, or was planning to do something based on Wilbur's commands. Tommy then, realising he's being watched, turned back around to face Turbo. He doesn't stay out for very long, and when he returns, he hangs up on Wilbur, but then claims he needs a palate cleanser. This leads to him going back outside to get a drink which was left out there, and when we next see him outside the window, he is back on his phone. It's assumed that he is talking to Wilbur. Either Wilbur rang him back, or Tommy decided to ring Wilbur back. However, Tommy was the one that hung up on Wilbur originally, saying he had to go carve. And since Wilbur at this point seems to be the one controlling Tommy, getting him to do things, we're gonna assume that it was Wilbur who rang Tommy back. It's been debated that Tommy never hung up on Wilbur, but after Tommy told him he was hanging up, we get a glance at his phone, and we can see it is clearly not in an active phone call. The group then locks Tommy outside of the house as they were fed up with him, and we can see him pacing near the window on the phone to Wilbur. Turbo then tells Fred to unlock the doors and let Tommy in, but while doing so, Tommy shouts at Fred, telling him to keep the doors locked. When told the doors will be unlocked, he shakes his head and bangs on the window, telling Fred to keep them as they are and stay inside before running away from the window and out of shot. Six minutes pass. Whatever it is that Tommy does in these six minutes is unknown, and to a lot of people, it is the most intriguing part of this whole thing. And after these six minutes, Tommy is seen walking past the window. However, his mannerisms have changed. When he left, he was in a rush and seemed to be panicking. However, upon returning, he was the complete opposite, slow and calm. And when he got back in the room, he sat down and said nothing. He rarely talked to others while he was being spoken to and instead sat there in complete silence, staring away from the camera. When the stream changes camera, we can see Tommy up close where he looks visibly distressed. His face was red and he appeared to be tearing up, but also upon returning, he was covered in mud and leaves. And at 1.29.40, we get a glimpse of his hand, which had dirt on the fingertips. Whatever caused him to get this dirty most likely involved Tommy physically touching dirt with his bare hands. Another minute passes where he is in complete silence before he gets up to use the bathroom. He is in there for a little over 4 minutes before returning, and when he does, he is dressed differently, and was acting completely normal as if nothing ever happened. The stream continued as normal, but these 35 minutes in particular had caught the eye of the viewers, who had already come to the conclusion that this was the start of Wilbur's new ARG. And by the end of the stream, people online were already uploading videos and creating Discord servers for people to figure out what was going on. But at the time, this was all they had, until a few days later, when the community stumbled upon what they believed to be the next part of the ARG. The reason this stream was believed to be the beginning of an ARG wasn't just because Wilbur promised to make a new one, but because what was happening throughout was incredibly odd even if it was just something Wilbur scripted for the fun of it. It seemed way too dramatic and lasted way too long for it to be just a bit, which inspired many people to stay up for hours upon hours ruining their sleep schedules just to create theories for this ARG or to try and discover more. People were analysing everything, and to be honest I can't say I blame them. 
This did feel like it could have been the start to something, and when more and more supposed clues began appearing, the chances of this just being a huge coincidence got lower and lower. And that leads us to the next clue. On the 28th of October, Tommy did a You Laugh You Lose stream on his Twitch, and during it he talked a bit about what happened on the Halloween stream a few days ago, as well as a few things that people believe to be the second part of the ARG. This first happens in the stream at 1553, and carries on throughout. He also streamed just two days later, and these two streams alone proved to be very important. Here's a few clips from the two streams that are, or are believed to be part of the ARG. Let's address the elephant in the room. Me and Wilbur carried... We carried the table around Brighton. It was because Wilbur needed it, and he said, carry it. And I don't say no to Wilbur, so I carried it. Hello to you, mate. What is up? This is what happened to you. I don't even remember doing that. I was so high on life, and, you know. What's an ARG? I need to use my angstiness in a real world scenario. Quick, someone establish an ARG and solve it. Someone, someone say something in Morse code, come on. <laughs> my comfort ARG. Oh, oh my god! Oh, thank you! No, I hate ARGs. ARGs are cringe. I've never tried one. Okay. It just seems like a little too much. <laughs> what, what does it even stand for, by the way? Aug. Augmented, Augmented reality game. Reality game. Like Squid Game. <laughs> Me. Like Squid no, Game. Like Squid Game. Squid no, Game. Hey not. guys, what did everyone think of Squid Game? Guys, what if Squid Game is just a big part of the new died. Wilbur Aug? Wow. Okay. What? Shit. You guys want to like fucking? Scat Wait, why is everyone something? saying I just announced something? Wait, what did I just announce? Do announce? Do announce? Wait, everyone's like, he just confirmed it. Oh, Wait, what I did I confirm? You, you, you mean the new Wilbur ARG, man? You literally said uh, ARGs oh. suck. Is that a No, I think it's about the MCC team. Yes. No. Let me leak an MCC team so everyone forgets. These clips that I've just shown made the community believe that the ARG had begun. While talking about why he carried a table around Brighton, Tommy says, I don't say no to Wilbur which supported the community's idea that Tommy was being controlled by Wilbur. We know that when given a command, Tommy will usually follow Wilbur's orders regardless of what they are. This idea is best represented when Tommy is told to collapse onto the floor during the Halloween stream. If you were told to collapse onto the floor with no protection and you knew it was very likely it would result in an injury, you probably wouldn't. However, Tommy didn't even need to think about it before doing so. Then on stream, a media share donation goes through, playing a video of Tommy during the Halloween stream. The video was sped up showing that Tommy had been sat very still for a long time. Upon seeing this, Tommy says, I don't even remember doing that. I was so high on life. Tommy then sees someone in chat mention ARGs, to which he says, what's an ARG? Which only causes more and more people to spam it in the chat. However, Tommy stays silent, ignoring all the ARG related messages. Obviously, Tommy does know what an ARG is given that he's very good friends with Wilbur, but to the audience, it seemed like he was doing this just to build hype and tease the chat about the ARG. During the next stream, ARGs pop up into conversation between those talking with Tommy, to which Tommy plays something in Morse code. Again, to the audience, it just felt like Tommy was trying to tease people, as when people tried to decode the message, it didn't lead to anything. It seemed like this string of beeps wasn't real Morse code, but instead was just Tommy trying to get people talking, which worked. Tommy then says, what if Squid Game is just a big part of the new Wilbur arg? This sentence alone confirmed it to the viewers, or at least they thought it did. People were theorizing everything and looking into anything they could to try and get clues. Even when Tommy uploaded a video to his vlog channel, people went out of their way to make it ARG related, when in reality it was just a regular vlog. They still had hope, even when a YouTube link they found in the subtitles of the vlog led to a video that didn't even exist. Whenever anything was published by someone who was included in the Halloween stream, the community immediately began searching for clues. But these clues never meant anything. And here's 
how it all came crumbling down. ARG don't know her. You want me to talk about this fucking ARG? Tommy was telling me about this. How everyone thinks it's a fucking ARG, right? I don't want to. I don't. I hate to. It's it's a hard thing to touch on because like I will make an ARG soon, but I just haven't yet. And I'm sorry, I genuinely... And I know you're not going to believe me because the whole thing with the ARGs is that I don't talk about them. But genuinely, chat, I'm just a weird guy. I'm fucking... I've always been fucking weird. She's 33. Fine with me. Like, it's just... I've always been fucking weird. Right? You don't need to... Like, I, I, when I start doing weird shit on other people's streams, that's not because I'm creating some detailed narrative. It's just, I'm just fucking bored. I go on top, I see Tubbo and Rambo and Tommy alive. And so I call Tommy and tell him to go outside and eat dirt and then go back in looking distraught. That's all. That doesn't mean, that doesn't mean there's an ARG. And I'm sorry, and I'm sorry, there will be an ARG. And I, and I definitely won't make it obvious as well. It will be as weird and out of nowhere like this one is. But it, uh, it's not this one. And me going on to Tommy's, Tommy, and me going on to Tommy's fucking roast video and just saying the same joke and over again. And then having a bit where Jack Manifold gets beaten up. Yeah, like that was just me being me. I'm just a quirk. I'm just, I'm sorry. I was just in a silly, goofy mood. And sometimes I get in these silly, goofy moods and I just have to start ARG. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I will have an ARG. Save your, save your YouTube analyzing for when I do have one. And you'll know. I'll fucking appear in it. I'll appear in it like the last one too. I'll be them. I'll I'll put on one of my silly little personas. So why was Tommy acting possessed on the Halloween stream? I don't fucking know. It's just Tommy, isn't he? He's just a fucking weird boy. It's not my help. It's not my problem. Tommy can do what he wants. Tommy can be a fucking weirdo. No, it's fair enough that you think there is an ARG. Maybe Tommy's running one. I don't know. I don't think he is. I don't think he fucking knows how. Wilbur had confirmed that the ARG never existed, which confused everyone. How can so many odd things happen in such a short period of time involving the same creators? Well, as it turns out, it was a huge coincidence. None of these supposed clues meant anything ever. We know why people believed it was an ARG, but this news still shocked everyone. Some people weren't very happy with Wilbur, now if you're someone that's excited for a new ARG and you're upset with this outcome, just remember this isn't Wilbur's fault. We all collectively theorised that this could be an ARG. Wilbur never confirmed it had begun. Even when Tommy confirmed the ARG, he never confirmed that it was taking place as of now. Also, I've seen two main opinions come out of this. One of these opinions being that Wilbur is lying to slow down the investigation, and another being that this might be the beginning of a Tommy ARG instead. On the topic of Wilbur possibly lying, if Wilbur's plan was to slow down the investigation, telling us that the ARG never existed would be a terrible idea, as he didn't slow down our research, he stopped it altogether. The chances of him lying is low in my opinion, and on the topic of it possibly being a Tommy ARG, I really don't think Tommy is the person to make an ARG. And since Wilbur is known for making ARGs in his friend group, I don't think he would be very happy if Tommy was to start one right after Wilbur announced he'd make a second one. It also just doesn't seem like a thing Tommy would do. So in conclusion, the ARG, despite being put on hold by the community, most likely never existed and probably never will. Obviously Wilbur will make one at some point in the future, however this storyline is pretty much dead. To be fair, if you do think about it, a lot of these clues instantly led to dead ends. First the Morse code, which didn't translate to anything, and then the YouTube link, which led to an unavailable video. So maybe after all, it was just a huge coincidence. But what we do know is, the investigations made by over 12,000 people proved to be pointless. All because Wilbur had tricked them by complete accident. This was the story of the ARG that never existed. See you all later.
the ocean is inhabited by 228,000 known species, and millions more that we have not yet discovered. That includes our fish, turtles, whales, and many, many more. So keeping these animals and the ocean itself safe is really important. That's why Mr. Beast and Mark Grober have launched Team Seas, a project that aims to remove 30 million pounds of waste from the ocean by the end of the year. And every dollar donated is a single pound of trash removed from the ocean, and you have the option to donate. The fundraiser can be found on the side of this video and in the description. So if you can, I highly suggest donating. Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you all later.